All right, I'm going to do one more video tonight, cracking open some uh, some round two stuff. These are actually really limited. I didn't notice that. One of 1336. These are America's finest. I'm after the Broncos, especially the Gold Strike. Any of you have that? I've got a $100 bill with your name on it. The Gold Strike, 100 bucks. Probably give you 20 bucks for the regular if you've got it. So let me know. And let's take a look at these. This one here is the 1965 Ford Galaxy. Sorry about my phone. And these are actually really nice looking. I actually really like these new racing champs. They have really come a long way. And with round two at the helm, you can see the resemblance to Auto World. They, to me, are kind of a cross between M2 and Auto World. Because they feel cheap like M2, but they have more of a, I think auto world detail you can see that that's very cheap right there that's an m2 problem but the detail the painted brake lights reminds me a lot of auto world so i wonder if the trunk no nope, no opening trunk anyways really cool car and uh, they are pretty limited more limited than probably most of your redline club stuff i wish they numbered them though so these came out in a an a release and a b release so there are two color variations that's a really good roller on that one uh the next one from the same series America's Finest, also numbered to 1336, the 1967 Plymouth Fury. And I'm not sure which one of these I like better. I like them both. I think I probably like the Fury better. Simply because of the livery. I really want to get that Bronco both both variations of it this is a lot lighter than the galaxy feels almost like it has a plastic base as a matter of fact it does that's very weird this is definitely metal and this is definitely plastic so that's interesting I'm not sure what that's all about but they got to cut the cost out somewhere but a uh, really good detail And for me, it's all about the detail. And that is why I don't really care what brand the casting is. If it looks good, I'm interested in owning it. A lot of good engine detail. <clears throat> Look at that radiator. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I don't know. That is a pretty cool car. I think I do like it better than... The galaxy but i really don't know for collectors like wtf for he's gonna love these being a fan of these big boats from the 60s and 70s these are perfect if you're that type of collector now let's get into some auto world i'm gonna start with this uh th these are limited to 1672 I found these at Walmart, so um, I did, all the good ones were gone, but I was just happy to find these because auto worlds have been very scarce in my area. Keep this little plastic thing because it fits perfectly in the, the box. For those of you that uh, store your cars away and don't display them. This is a nice little trick that Auto World has created with these later releases. 
fits perfect and your car doesn't rattle around. So definitely keep this little plastic molding. I'm going to put mine away and then we'll look at the car. This is the Pontiac Grand Prix. Awesome casting. Everything Auto World does is top notch. I don't know if there's a nicer 1 to 64 scale car you can get, um, with the exception of Tamika Limited Vintage, but those are four to five times the price. This thing is so heavy, it's so solid, it doesn't feel cheap, there's nothing that rattles on it. You can just tell by holding it compared to holding like an M2 or, or even a green light nowadays. You can really feel the quality. It has that quality to the touch. And it's an excellent champagne color. White interior. A lot of people don't like these skinny tires, but the truth of the matter is these are true to scale for 1 to 64. Hot Wheels tires. Johnny Lightning tires, if you were to blow this up to full scale, these would be probably four or five feet wide. It would look really goofy. So, that, look at that steering wheel in there. That detail is just killer. And I have this casting in a couple other colors, but I have to say I really dig the champagne. Next, we have, um, I have the last release of this Dodge Polara. I don't have the Max Wedge, so this is my first Max Wedge. I really want to get the black one. That thing is really nice looking. But there's only 1,600 of them out there, so finding one may not be as easy as you would pre have previously thought. And if you do find them, you know, the pricing on these is going to be interesting. I've always thought Auto World are the hidden gems of diecast anyways. I think in 10 years, they're going to be really hot because they just didn't make a whole lot of them. This thing is really heavy. Man, that's a heavy casting for what it is. Such good quality. I love the white wheels. You have the uh, chrome hubcap there on the front wheels. Really nice looking front end on this. Got the hood scoop. Let's see if we can get this. Their hoods close so nice that sometimes it's really difficult getting them open. Oh, I had it and it sprung back down. All right. Look at that engine. The hood scoop is cast into the hood, but look at, I mean, that's definitely a retooling from the original release. This thing is just awesome looking. I really like it. It seems a lot bigger than the last one, too. That might be a new tool altogether. Really cool car. I love Auto World. My only complaint is the selection. <clears throat> All right. One of the most popular Auto World cars ever to come out. This one and the Chevy. Everybody loves their muscle wagons. 1964 Ford Country Squire. A little trivia lesson for all you die-cast collectors and automobile enthusiasts. Do you know where the term station wagon originated? I know what my guess would be if I didn't know the answer, which I do know the answer. Everybody's probably Googling it real quick. Uh, one thing I really like with this one, compared to the past releases of this, 
they used to just paint the wood and it would just be a brown. Now they tampo it so it has that grainy look to it. Like the uh, Johnny Lightning cars do. It looks so much better. It looks a lot more authentic. And I really like this black color. Really like it. Open Road. That is a very cool casting. That red interior looks so sharp with the black. That is so cool. <clears throat> very well done, Auto World. Anyways, the term station wagon, you would think, well, number one, it's a wagon, and most of them are gas guzzlers, so they're at the gas station all the time. That is not the case. The uh, term station wagon started when... Uh, Before automobiles really took off, there was, were still a ton of people using train for transit, um, especially before commercial commercial uh, flight took its course in the uh, United States and globally. So people were traveling by train, and these cars were predominantly used to take people to the train station with all of their luggage and pick them up from the train station with all their luggage and that is why they were deemed the station wagon and then probably later on in the 50s and 60s the term station wagon probably meant because it was at the gas station all the time because they do guzzle gas anyways um i got one more chase car I was thinking about holding off on this and cracking open a Super, a White Lightning, a Green Machine, an Ultra Red, and an M2 Chase all in one video. But I'm not going to do that. If I had a Super to open and a White Lightning to open, I would do it, but I don't. So this is, uh, I don't collect a whole bunch of these basic auto worlds. This is by far my favorite, this one and the El Camino, but I've been wanting this Ultra Red for a while. I really want to see this car make it to the premium lineup with a metal base and rubber tires. I think it would be a huge hit. These Ultra Reds, you just don't understand how nice they look till you take them out of the package. Mm. they look so good almost every single one of these I've ever opened and I've probably opened 50 or 60 of these 90% of them have paint flaws you can see here on the hood most of the time they're minor but every now and then you'll have a major paint flaw that thing looks sick that's going to make for some good Instagram pics. So with their basic lineup, they have, uh, they're all plastic base, plastic tires. Um, most of the basics are modern castings, but there are a couple of them like this and the El Camino and the GTO that are older castings. They only have two different wheel types for the basics. They have these ones and then they have the five spoke uh, like what the Camaro and the Mustang have. They are no longer making the basic lineup, though. So you won't be finding these basic cars any longer. The only one I know of that's being produced currently is the Camaro for the six-car display case. I wonder if there's an ultra red of that thing out there. Wow, this thing just looks so stunning. I'm going to get some pictures going. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to crack open some Auto World. It's been a quite a while since I've opened Auto World. I just can't find it in my area. I mean, the thing is, if they drop a case at Walmart, six cars or 12 cars, 
They're gone. The first person that gets there buys them all. I just can't find them. So, I mean, there aren't even pig wormers of Auto World in my area. All of the Dodge Darts are gone. All of the Mercury Comets are gone. They're just not around. So, down in Tucson at the toy show, at the we stopped into Walmart, and I was pretty happy to find these. Street view. All right, well, I'm going to do some Instagram pics. Um, the next video, I have a lot of stuff I have to put away. A lot of Johnny Lightning stuff that I have to put away. I have to purge some Matchbox cars to get storage uh, available for those. I think I probably only have two or three more videos. One of them is going to be the Kyosho Tamika, and then the other one or two are going to be green light. So not sure yet how I'm going to do all that, but it's probably going to be this weekend after I get this stuff all figured out. So uh, thank you for checking it out hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of this die cast cracked open um i really had a good time you know going to the die cast show and hunting all this stuff down and picking it up so the funnest part is getting it home <clears throat> and cracking it open <coughs> make sure you all check your local areas for die cast shows and uh check one out you never know what you're going to find. But thanks for watching. I'll holler at the next one.